Dear students, let us see what is there in this question. An object at the end of a spring oscillates vertically with simple harmonic motion. The graph shows the variation of time with time t of the displacement x. And it is shown like this. What is the velocity of the object? Okay, so this x is the displacement. And uh, we need to comment on the velocity. Fine. So there are many methods uh, which can be used here. Um, but I believe uh, the the first step that that we should do here is creating the equation for the displacement from the graph. So this uh, question is from HL. So we will not be um, shunning away from creating equations. Okay, because that is uh, that that is a part of our syllabus now. Okay, so x is equal to the amplitude. The amplitude is two a, and uh, this variation is negative cos. So it will be negative 2a cos omega t. So I can just write it like this. So this is the displacement. Clearly, the amplitude is 2a and it is a negative cos theta variation that is visible here because it is starting from the bottom and cos is starting from the top. This is cos. So this is negative cos. So it will be negative 2a cos omega t. So this is the displacement and we want to find the velocity. So clearly we can differentiate it. And if you do not want to differentiate, even then uh, in the data booklet, the equation is given. Like if you're using X is equal to cos omega D directly to cos omega D. So how do you have the um, velocity variation that is given? But there is a negative sign involved here. So it would be better if you know this much of the calculus. Okay. So velocity is minus two A cos will give you negative sine omega t on differentiating and omega will be also there due to the chain rule if you remember in the in diffraction so it will be negative and negative gets cancelled out it would be positive 2a omega sine omega t omega is written as 2 pi by t so 2 is not there okay there is a problem with the time period also so omega is equal to 2 pi by capital T, where T is the time period. And you can see the time period is taken as 2T. So in place of T, we are going to substitute 2T because the time period is not T, it is 2T. So 2 and 2 gets cancelled out. So omega is equal to pi by T. So there you go. 2A pi by T sine of pi by capital T into T. And it is coming out to be in positive. And uh, no, this is cos B is the correct answer. Yes, my dear students, B will be the correct answer because this is matching there. So let us see uh, what is the answer given in the data booklet. Yes, the answer is B. Okay, dear students, so this is how we do this question. You might feel like um, um, you are not good with the calculus or you're not, not good with trigonometric equations. But I believe this is the right method to do it. And this is the best method to do it. Okay, so this much of the calculus you must know. So my dear students, this is Professor Varun. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. All the best.